way from South Africa. How are you, sir? Thank you, brother. Thank you. Good. Fantastic. Condolences firstly to you and your family, man. And uh, hopefully you've got a, a good night ahead of you to, to really uh, stamp your authority back on the division. Yes, sir. So uh, what I really want to ask you is, obviously, we, we just saw uh, Francis Ngannou put on a, a massive display. Obviously, being an African brother, that's who we, we're really watching um, back from South Africa. But I, I want to ask you, where do you think you fit into the picture here now with uh, Curtis Blades, Francis Ngannou, uh, and yourself, if you get a win? Obviously, not looking past Alistair Overeem. Um, just, just where do you see yourself in, in, in that picture? Um, I, I feel like I belong in conversation with all those guys. Um, you know, I feel like I'm one of the most talented heavyweights in the entire division. And I feel like, um, you know, when I went over Alistair, it's going to thrust me right there in the middle of all of that. And um, I'm prepared to fight any one of those guys you name. Um, I feel like, you know, it's my time to be in that conversation. I've worked hard. I've been through a lot in my career, ups and downs, battled adversity. So I think it's my time to shine, man, and show the world what I'm, I'm truly capable of. I'm hitting my prime right now, so I'm excited. Fantastic. And looking up the division, watching a guy like Francis Ngannou put on a display like he did, what are your initial thoughts to, to that kind of a display? Uh, it's impressive, man. I mean, I called it, you know, to be honest. I, I feel like Francis is a – I trained with him. I mean, the dude's a, a monster, man. He's huge. And, um, you know, he, he's he's got a lot to prove himself. I mean, he was off for 19 months, so – I, I kind of saw him coming into that fight very aggressive and looking to finish fast and prove a point. And he did exactly that, man. So big ups to, to, to Francis, man. I cool with his whole team. So, you know, that's just, uh, it was awesome to watch, honestly. Awesome. Looking looking at uh, Alistair Obrim and, and the, the style of fight he's been adopting lately um, as he's gotten on his career, you know, when, when fans watch heavyweights, obviously they, they, they want to see the big knockouts and that doesn't always come. Do you do you feel pressure to to really hunt for that knockout to really say okay I'm here in this division and and I'm the next title contender? Um, no, not really hunt for it. Um, you know I've learned throughout my career that hunting for it it never comes. Um, you kind of got to let it come to you. And um, I feel like I'm a guy that reads and, and reads and reacts very well in the fight, and that's where my knockouts come from. So, um, you know, I'm just going to go in there and be me and do me and let the knockout appear when I see it. I'm going to take it for sure. I'm going to try to finish the fight. That's what I do. Um, but I'm definitely not – I don't feel any pressure or, you know, anything. I just need to go in there and get this done, you know what I mean, and, and make it look good, which I plan on doing. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time and Thank all you. the best. Thank you.